what's good, Griffin Win 3 here back in the day, and today, guys, I just got the notification for our brand new spring barn find. It is located over here at Moorhead Wind Farm, so I figured we might as well go ahead and maybe search for it because I have not yet found this car. But what I do see, though, is it looks like there's maybe an old road coming down here, so we might have to go ahead and check that out. But right now, we're actually going to go ahead and hunt down this beast, see if we can find it. Now, the general location is right here. When we do find the car, I will actually go ahead and show you guys its specific location. But right now, let's just go ahead and hunt this thing down. I'm curious. We got the brand new 2018 Honda Civic Type R, which I am so excited about. But right now, let's go Let's go for a little bit of a drive here. Let's go for a little bit of a drive. We're going to search around a bit. Search around. Uh, it looks like there was a road maybe coming right off here. Yes, there is. Hello, old road. Oh, wait. No. This is not a road. This is That was just like a driveway. Holy crap. But I'm actually seeing some people way over there in the distance. I wonder if they've actually already found it. That might be our cue right there to go over there and uh, see if they have it. Because there's one guy sitting right there on the edge. And, you know, they have a tendency to put these barn finds out in the woods getting somewhere. Close, getting close. There's a little bit of an opening. Oh. Oh, this is definitely an old road right here. Um, we're not quite yet to where he is over there. Let's go ahead and hit him up. Let's go ahead and hit this guy up. He might have it. He might have his barn find. Uh, because... Looks like he's actually out of drone mode. Oh, he's just... Yeah, he's in drone mode here. So he still has not yet found it. Gotcha. Gotcha. But we did definitely see an old road right over here. We definitely saw an old road right here. Let's go ahead and follow this. Let's go ahead and follow this and see what we can find. Now, what's interesting, though, is this actually looks like it goes around this little uh, set of uh, pole stand timber right here. You know, just, just this little tiny stuff right there. You know, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, but this actually looks like we're going to move out of here. So this is probably not the way. We need to probably be going the other way right now. That's probably what we need to do. But yeah, there's definitely an old road here. And, you know, typically that's where barn finds are. They're off of old, old dirt roads like this that aren't really on the map. So we'll keep following this around, and maybe we'll come find something. Maybe we'll find something. Uh, if not, you know, if we don't find this soon, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just use drone mode and find it. Okay, guys, so we did find the barn find, and I'm feeling really stupid because you guys see this dirt road right here? There's the barn find. If we would have just looked over to our right, we would have actually seen it. Oh, my God. I can't believe this. Oh, my God. It's right there. We even turned around, and we still missed this. I, I'm feeling so stupid right now. I can't believe we missed it. So for those of you guys who want to see where it is on the map, let me go ahead and show you guys. It is located right here. It's at the edge of this tree line, kind of in where the tree line kind of corners up, I guess. I don't know how to quite put that, where this corner is. You know, you just want to go ahead and find it there. It's pretty simple to find once you actually get to it. But right now, let's actually go ahead and collect our brand new barn find. Ooh, what can it be? You found it, didn't you? Ah, I was just having fun. Okay, I'll be there soon. Is that a GT? Aye, it is a GT. They're up for a crash test by the look of it. See the fiducial markers down the side. So much for the dummy that left it here, eh? Ha, ours now. See you back at the garage in a bit. So we just got ourselves a Ford GT, not even mad, not even mad, but now we just got to wait for the thing to be restored so that we can go ahead and finish up this video, see what he's got to say about it, and give it a little test drive, you know, see how it does in a race. But right now, let's go ahead and hop over to that. I not heads or tails of what it was doing out there until the mechanics told me. These things were designed and built in the UK, but the engine was from America. Did you know that? Is it learning fun? 
All right, guys, so we got ourselves our brand new Ford GT40 Mark 1. And, guys, this thing is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. I cannot wait to go ahead and take this thing and get it behind the wheel. So, let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's get this thing entered into a race as I'm excited. I am excited to see what this thing can do. Let, let, let's get in this thing. Let's see what it can do. I want to see how this thing handles because it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. It really and truly is. All right. Ooh, we're, we're going no upgrades right now. We're going to go out no upgrades. We're going to see how this handles stock. Uh, and if I'm right, it's probably going to, yeah, it's going to get a little bit drifty. It's going to get a little bit drifty. But we do got a race right over here. Ow. Ow. That's my bad, guys. That is my bad. And we just got 10,000 credits for leveling up our car collection score, I think. is that? I think that's what that was, right? Not entirely sure. But let's go ahead and do this Horizon Festival Sprint Race. And we're going to see how well this car can actually go ahead and compete real quickly. Horizon Festival Sprint in our brand new GT40. I'm excited, guys. I really, truly am. This is an amazing freaking car. And I've been waiting for like two days now for this. I really have. It kind of sucks that it took until now for us to actually get this car back from the uh, dang dude or mechanic, whatever you want to call him. I don't know. But let's see how this is going to work out. Horizon presents the Horizon Festival Sprint, which we'll be doing again tomorrow. We'll be doing this again tomorrow in our Volkswagen Corrado. So let's go ahead and get this race started. All right, here we go, man. Here we go. It is raining. Not necessarily the best weather conditions out there. But we're going to see if this thing can compete. We are on unbeatable difficulty. So if this thing's able to win, damn, it's a good car. Damn, it is a good car. We're already moving up through the pole quite a bit here. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, there we go. Oh, we had a little bit of contact there. Hopefully, though, we can maintain as little contact as possible. That would be to our advantage. All right. Ooh, ooh, don't hit that wall because I know the thing will stop us right in our tracks. All right, come on, man. Get back on the power. On the power, GT40. You have got this. You have got this. This thing is an absolute beast. We are going, going, gone. Come on, man. We're in fifth place right now. We have got quite a bit of power. I feel like we're actually catching up to these guys. All right, let's see here. Let's see. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. We had a little bit of contact there. We lost it almost. But we actually are able to go ahead and maintain it. We almost lost it right there, too, but we maintained it again. All right, come on, man. Come on. Let's see how this GT40 can do. I'm really hoping for a win. I am really hoping for a dang win. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. We're in fourth. We just need to catch up a few more spots. I can see first, second, and third right there in front of me. If we can just get a nice section where we can get some power down, we've got this race. We've got this race in the bag. Come on. Oh, it's drifty. Guys, this thing is drifty quite a bit. Oh, we are going to get fourth place. Which is not bad, considering the fact that we did not tune this car at all. And we're on diesel. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We got third. <laughs> Holy crap. We actually were able to pull off a podium finish in a non-tuned. Oh, my God. That's awesome. That is awesome. And 142 for an A-class car is actually relatively decent. That's not the worst I've actually seen. So I'm actually pretty damn happy about the results of that. We do need to go ahead and get this thing tuned up a little bit to be the best it can be. But, you know, we, we got a podium. I'm not too mad about that. I'm not too mad about that. That's actually remarkable. I'm so glad that we were actually able to pull off that score. 3,000 influence earned. Okay, are we going to level up? No, we are not. Unfortunately, we're not going to level up. We're getting closer to prestiging. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. I am excited about that. So, but anyway, though, guys, I think that's where we're going to go and wrap things up for today. If you guys want to, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl 413 and instagram.com forward slash girl 413 And if you guys like this video, go and make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more videos coming out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.